When I was a kid, you know, I, I dreamed of a lot of things. But never, I would say, would I th think that one day I would make a video. And in that video, I would ask, you know, people if they would rather have sex with an alien or a dinosaur. And of the 4,000 people that watched that video, almost a thousand of them would respond. And of that thousand people, 760 of them would freely admit that they would rather have sex with an alien over a dinosaur. Life, uh... Life is unexpected. Hello and welcome back to a bunch of weirdos to this. The FIFA 17 Eyes Career Mode and guys, guys, guys. And yes, 760 of you guys would rather go ahead and smash an alien, which I understand. You know, there's a lot of good science fiction out there with hot alien booty. Ran from Mass Effect to Star Trek to Star Wars. I get it, but 175 of you guys would rather bang a dinosaur. Why? We know what dinosaurs look like. They're not sexy. They're just bigger alligators. So essentially 175 of you guys said that you would rather make sensual love with a big alligator. Huh. Hey man, whatever floats your boat. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and get back into it. We are in February of 2019, out of the transfer window. We're gonna be simming the majority of the games in this month. Then we're gonna go up against Aaron Vine, and then the first leg of Roma. Issue there, as you can see, is that there's only a two day gap in between them. So, do I go full force in Champions League or do I go full force in the league? And usually in years past, we'd be breezing through the Eredivisie, so it would be an obvious choice. We start our big ones up against Roma, but we go ahead and take a look at the table right here. You can see that it hasn't been that rosy. Feyenoord have come back with a vengeance, losing only one game in 21 matches. They refuse. They refuse to lose, except that one time, and I'm pretty sure it was against us. And remember, we're seeing a lot of these games, okay? So it is gonna be difficult if we start dropping points for us to just go ahead and start a secondary team in the game that we play up against Aaron Veen. But we also had a vote that didn't involve, you know, getting a little strange from an interstellar green man. You guys went ahead and voted on which boots we should give Moses Simon. And the ones that we settled on were the Nikki Superfly Lines. Let's go ahead and stack them up right here. Well, ooh, 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 don't they look? They look like a starburst. Like, they look like someone took a huge starburst and just molded it around your foot. But it looks, it looks delightful on the young Nigerian, and that is a look that we're gonna go with, so, yeah. But the other guy that we're gonna go ahead and customize today is someone that we've been kind of ignoring in the customization, you know, and that is, of course, Onana, our number one. Let's go ahead and check him out. It's a good look for him, the the green. I like, I kind of like the white, gold, and black. Let's switch up from long sleeve. We'll give him the undershirt, and we'll give him the turtleneck as well. Sock height, normal, high, yeah, I like the high. Boots, interesting. It kind of matches well, I'm not going to lie, with his white and gold uh, gloves. So, well, that'll be one of the options right now. We'll just leave it on the default. But there is actually the more sexy version, which is kind of like the Pogba version, the Stella pack over here. That's not bad. That's not bad. In fact, I'm going to switch it over to that one for now. We can go it again. They're new. Do we give them the camouflage boots? Or do we make them look like a dinosaur that sucked on a jawbreaker with these Magista Orba Green? Those are your options. Go ahead and vote in the app. And you guys also went ahead and voted on this situation right here. He says he wants to discuss his wages and he's going to work harder in training for the team and he should be paid a little bit more as a result. And you guys went ahead and voted and said, y'all bunch of shit starters, you're, you're saying that I should start shit with him now and basically so that he's upset with his wages and it'll force his way out. Thus, it'll be easier for me to go ahead and claim him next season for whatever team I move on to. So, I'm... I'm gonna I'm gonna poke the beehive right here. I'm gonna go with a Rossi right now, and he's only getting paid 425. So I don't blame you, dude. I do not blame you at all. But what I'm gonna offer is a one-year deal, and it's gonna be I'm gonna offer. <laughs> What's can I offer him zero? Can I really offer him zero? One year. I want you to play for free for a future star. This would be amazing. That is my offer. 
I just offered to play. Why does FIFA? Why would you let me do that? I just offered him. He came up to me and says, "Hey man, you know I've been working really hard. I I've, I've been putting in the work. I've been scoring goals. I was one of our top goal scorers last year. I was a young player of the year for two seasons running, and I'm getting paid barely more than I make in real life." I just basically asked our scout feature star to to be a slave. Negotiation says, currently negotiating. Bruh. What the fuck are we negotiating? Oh, shocking. A day later, Jordi Rossi contract offer declined. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the first teamers up against Otto Den Hog. I mean, it's, it's gonna be rough. These these next couple weeks are pretty action packed with fixtures. But let's go. One, two, three, sim, boom. We lost. How? And Rossi. Oh my god. Well, that was lovely. Luckily, Feyenoord drew, so it's only, you know, a two point lead now, but what the fuck happened? Oh god. Well, I mean, there's not much we can do. Just trying to lads and keep going. Alright, let's try this for the second time. Up against Rhoda. With only three days rest, we're starting the second team up against them. But we're at home, which usually means better results. 3, 2, 1. Van Dyke's already scored. 2, 1. Dabo goes ahead and gets the other goal, and I'll take that. And bam! Calculated. I knew. I knew. I knew this would happen. Fanor loses, and we have now leapfrogged him. We have the one point lead. Alright. So, we got a one point lead at the top of the air to visit. Dream scenario here. We win. Fanor loses, but this is an away match, which can always be tricky. They said, hey. They, two, one, uno, dos, tres, go. Two nil win. Woo! Olsen and Promise going ahead and netting. And let's see what the result is with Feyenoord. Ah, nope, nope, nope. Feyenoord ain't letting it go easy. They won as well, which means they're right behind us. Let's train up the lads. Ooh, Fosu! Welcome to the 80 Club, my son. And now here we go. We got a full week to recover, and then these two fixtures coming up. And I think it's a smart decision if we start the second team up against Aaron and we, we rest all the biggies for Roma. Oh, but Fister's back with this monthly scouting report from Colombia. Unfortunately, if these guys aren't like 16, 17, I highly doubt that I could actually sign them up and get them into the game. So, you know, it's a little bit bittersweet if we find someone amazing. Oh, wait, we already found this guy. But 78 to 94. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get him in. All right, this is the lineup that we're going to be rocking up, up against Aaron Vine. Irvin Lozano out on the left side. Moses Simon gets another start. I liked what I saw from him in the last match. A palam, palam, palam out on the right wing. Dabo, Nori, Fosu Mensa, and Siri make up the midfield. Bam Bam, Van Dyke, and Tete are the back three, with Nana in between the six. On the bench, we have Yusuf Poulsen, Dalber, Riddlewald, Erickson, which is, you know, only if we have a nice free kick. Opportunity, Cherny, Malapi Laden, and Sinkraven. Let's go ahead. Ugh. Apologies if I'm not the most high energy today. Look, we'll bet. 6.30 in order to complete an edit job. Not on my channel. But it's gonna be back, man. It's like an old friend every time I see Amsterdam Marina. It's, I've, we've just been so through, through so many things, man. The hard times. The channel, the channel, I mean, was doing okay, but it wasn't at the heights as it was, you know, is today. And I just got me through those dark times, man. And it's been fun. I miss the times when I could legitimately respond to every single one of your guys' comments, so. Well, actually, since we're on the ice curve mode, if you, if you type here, I'll probably be able to respond to you. So, yeah. OG weirdos. Everybody go ahead and set up like this. If I see a 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one, I'm fucking running the other way. That's all I'm saying. 4-3-3, three, three, like it. Oh! But the old boys, I remember this. Shona and Zipkovich in here. And they devastated us last time. I want to get revenge! Kimchi, give me the power. Yo, I'm up for this now. Fuck these ninjas. We going in. Oh! Siri! No! That makes any sense. Over the top. Hit it first time! Damn, Nori! Your finishing is so fucking shit, man. Anytime he tries to do anything first time, he puts it wide. It's lo it's low powered. It's just a dribbler. Some guys just can't finish, man. He doesn't have it in his blood. Moses, finish! Oh! What a fucking save. Dastardly. Jesus Christ. Okay. Jesus Christ! 
How many fouls are they gonna commit, man? And now you only pull out the yellow card. This is ridiculous. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Another fucking foul. Oh my god, another yellow card. The back oh shit <gasps> what the fuck I've never seen that animation before but I mean it, it's all for not we didn't score anything but it was impressive I mean look at it we've been dominating possession we've had a couple of shots only two of them on targets I feel like we're right there in fact actually let's switch it to a high pressure see if that bears any fruit Second half. oh yes boom oh fucking a Dabo this time does not miss. Oh god, it took forever and a half to get the breakthrough. <laughs> this is how I'm running. Where's the keeper? I'm oh, trying to celebrate. Will he make it? He will not. Oh, sadness. That's a lot of wasted energy. Probably should set him off. But lovely. One up. But this has been the story all along. First goal is the easy part. Can we hold on? Shoot a moss. Nori! Nori gets taken down and nobody calls. Of course, Nori doesn't fucking. God damn it, Nori. God fucking damn it. Nori, you've been shit offensively, but defensively, that was some good work there. Or right, we're gonna bring in Synchron, Ridwell, and Mbappe Lawton in here. That's very poor. Onana is actually out of position! <laughs> shit! Oh my god, if that would have gone in. Oh, Simon! 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 Oh, god damn it! You did so well! You did so fucking well, but could not finish. I'm glad. I'm glad to escape that. We outplayed them. There were some scary moments near the end, but a win is a win. I'll take the three points. Aaron put up a bit of a fight in the second half. Moses Simon getting man of the match, even though, let's see why. Uh, he got the assist of it, and this is how we won Man of the Match. He won all three of his tackles. Well done, Moses Simon. Here we'll play you at left back. We played ugly in that match so that we can play beautifully up against AS Roma. Can we defend the Champions League title? All right, heavily rotated side, but all the big boys are in here. Quincy Promise, Casper Dolberg, and Eduardo Rossi, the people's champ, is in on the right wing. Klaus and Eriksson, Taliso and Cyprian, Complete the diamond. Sanchez, Dalber out on the left, and Huste out on the right. Onana in between the sticks. On the bench, we have Yusuf Poulsen, Kenny Tete, Mbappe Lawton, Ritterwald, Sherny, Sinkraven, and Osadebe is in there because he has fresh legs. All right, let's go. First round, the away leg, crucial stuff. We can get a couple of away goals here. And since Champions League music isn't in FIFA this year, and if you play the actual music, you get copyright strike, I'm just going to say it right now. We are the champions. Yes, Roma start and get up in 4-3-3. Dumbia, Itube, and El Sharari in the midfield. Nangolan and Paradis. That's a tough midfield, man. That is a tough midfield to break down, I'm not gonna lie. But let's go ahead and get into it. We can't be scared. We're gonna attack it from the beginning. Oh, we're there? No, Cyprin! Oh, a bit more composure. It was a tight angle. But it was on. It was on the platter. Okay. Erickson, we bought you for this fucking reason. Do your dirty worst. Oh my god, at least keep it down. Erickson! You're supposed to be a freaking specialist. I don't even know if he's... I think we scored one free kick with him. What a fucking spectacular tackle. Please, Dolberg! Dolberg! Do you want it or not? Nah? Oh, he's skinning us. He's skinning us. He's skinning us. Oh, fuck off. Oh, we're giving him acres of space. He's just gonna waltz in. Good save, good save, Onana. 
Rossi has been non-existent in this game. Let's go possession. Let's see how it works. 80th minute. Switch it up. Let's bring in Yusuf Paulson in. We'll bring in Cherny on the side because Rossi's not been doing much. And yeah, Mbappe for Cyprian. Why not? Who else? What a shit-tastic game, man. A horrid game. Robo was an impenetrable force. A fucking Kevlar vest. We shot bullet after bullet after bullet, and every single time they deflected us, they repelled us. But finally, after a long siege, we break through. Journey! Hey, oh, fuck you, mate. Yes. <laughs> oh, you fucking monster, you! You fucking monster, Classic! 90th minute! Oh. How did he jump everyone? And that is what you want! That's fucking El Capitano, man! That is the fucking blood and heart on his sleeve! That's why he wears the armband! Woo! He just wanted it more, man! That's what I want from Dolberg. Dolberg scores goals for fun, but sometimes he just he just looks and he feels like he doesn't want it. But every single time, Clausen will fucking put his head in the danger zone. He'll fucking put his nutsack on a chopping block and said, go ahead, go for it. Because that's how much he loves his club. It looked like a horror show for 83 minutes. And then calamity. Absolute chaos. And Roma have absolutely dug themselves into a hole. 20 feet deep. They're not always gonna be pretty bad, but we grinded out the results that we needed to in this episode, and we march on. Look at that, man. We had a whole bunch of possession, but Roma was like, you could have the possession all you want. Two stacks, come break us down. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we got two goals against them because I do not look forward to playing against them again. That was one of the status defenses uh, I've ever played up against CPU-wise. Quincy Promise goes ahead and gets man of the match. As you can see, not a lot of high ratings in here, man. But in the next episode, you have this to look forward to. An Orange Cup date with uh, Utrecht. I know they want to play spoiler. They definitely want to play spoiler. And then two days later... We have Feyenoord for what may decide the fate of this season in the era of Izzy. So, next one. The next one it is a pretty crucial. So, you do not want to miss that one. If you want to check out the last episode of this, I highly recommend it. Go ahead and click over here. Ding. If you want to check out the new Chinese career mode, I would also recommend it. Go ahead and click over here. Ding. Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Be myself. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself. Stay humble. Be <laughs>